Hi guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here today to bring you a monthly message for the sign of Aries for love and soul connections. Keep in mind, my friends, it's a general message. Take what you feel resonates for you. Disregard the rest. Go about your day. I know that no matter what messages do come through, it's still up to you and your active free will, the choices you make and the steps you take in this world to get whatever fulfillment it is you'd like to see. To me, that's personal freedom, personal power, and it lies at the tips of your fingers and the soles of your feet. So use that power to do wisely, my friends. For all my subscribers, I love you, love you, love you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here. You mean the world to me. And if you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you feel like this resonates and you'd like to see more, please subscribe, join the journey with me. Let me encounter your energy more often. It'd be wonderful to have you along this journey. And guys, if it does resonate, please hit the thumbs up button. Help me circulate this video. That support would be greatly appreciated. Know as well that time is fluid, so I am putting the you know, the date of March 2021 on this, but if you encounter it later on, or if we're picking up on a situation from the past, or maybe something that hasn't happened yet, um, it's still okay. Just keep an open mind, my friends. And like I said, if you don't feel it resonates, don't dwell on it. Just go about your day. So before I get started, I'm going to call in my team of light, my spirit guides, as well as Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Gabriel and Raphael. Um, and I'm also going to ask for any of your spirit guides who would like to join us that are here for the highest good for the, of the entire collective to join in now. I'm going to ask them to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself, this reading, and any of you who would ask for it to use me as the clearest channel possible, delivering messages that are for the highest good of everyone involved, as well as, again, clear messages, highest, highest form of energy, okay, for our highest good. So only holy energy coming in today. I'm going to start off with the um, Psychic Tarot Oracle um, and see what messages we have. So what I'm going to do is do three piles. I'll do first your energy for Aries. We'll do your soul connection on the other side and then the space in between. Know that time this can flip. Okay, so if I'm reading your energy and you're like, that's not me, it may actually be the, your love interest or your soul connection, as well as remember that soul connections could be a love interest, for sure, it could be a soulmate, could also be our friends, our family, our children, um, our co-workers, things like that, people who are meant to be in our worlds and teach us a lesson or be here for a reason. So I'm going to first ask, what is the overall energy for Aries that you guys need to know and destiny flew out? That's gorgeous because I think it's confirmation. You're on the right path. You're going to where you're needing to go. Your energy is aligning with your highest good and it is aligning to what you're destined to do. So that's really beautiful energy. Let's find out a little bit more for Aries. What would you want Aries to know or what's the energy Aries is carrying for March 21? Sacrifice. Would you be letting go? And I think that this is important because for us to reach our true potential and for us to reach our goals and for us to reach who we're meant to be, it means letting go of all the things that we're not. For some of you, I feel like this destiny could be bringing you to a new romantic relationship, to a more um, a relationship more suited to who you are. And it means that we have to let go of a lot of preconceived notions of first I heard what love needs to look like, what relationships are going to be, as well as if we've had experiences in the past that haven't been the greatest, it's really time to help release them. And you may want to do, I heard a release ceremony. You may want to light some candles, smudge yourself with sage, open up the window, ask anything that is negative or inauthentic to leave with love and then at, you can drink some water or call the light in and help fill those spaces with light um, that you just released. Whatever it is that you let go of, help fill those spaces up back with love. You could also say, I call all authentic parts of me and my being that have existed through now in each layer of my life to come back now. But I think that if you have been going through some major purging, this could be emotional as well. If you've gone through a lot, if you feel like you've sacrificed a lot as well, this sacrifice is more about letting go, um, but letting go of what keeps you heavy, letting go of what keeps these waters murky, what keeps the emotions murky, and welcoming in that rainbow light. 
I also heard forgiveness and the power of forgiveness. And this could be where, you know what, in order to reach our goals, in order to reach our destiny, we need to let go of some burdens and some hardships and stuff we've been holding on to. And we want to replace that with forgiveness in our hearts. So tell me a little bit more, please, Spirit of Destiny and Sacrifice, and you get new beginnings. There's something great on your horizon. And whether it's a relationship, whether it's something else entirely, you know, whether it's family, whatever you're being aligned to right now, whatever new beginning is happening, it's something you've been destined to do, I heard, for lifetimes. So with this yellow here, I'm really drawn to the yellow around the circle. Have faith in your abilities. Have faith and self-confidence as well. And I heard, like, know your worth. Spirit wouldn't give this, this job to just anyone. They give it to you because you're worthy of it and you're able to do this. Um, I also heard the power of the sword. For some of you, that to me, that power of the sword is not necessarily fighting and dueling, but more our energy, that even just holding it, right, we may feel a little bit more confident because we feel protected. There is a protection there as well. Um, I'm also hearing Excalibur, like King Arthur. So for some of you as well, you may have a really strong affinity to that. Spiritual union came out. So definitely this is the two of cups as well in the regular tarot. That's really wonderful because whatever's happening, whatever you're letting go and releasing, it is allowing new energy to bring in this powerful soul connection. For some of you, what I heard is this may even be like a twin flame kind of thing. If it's not a twin, it's a definitely really important spiritual connection in your world. And it's a meeting of minds. It's like-minded individuals joining forces. And I heard like sharing one heart. You have two hearts, but they're almost beating as one. This is a really powerful connection, whatever's happening right now. And Spirit is also telling you that there's choices that you need to make, decisions you need to make, movements you need to make, but the ball is in your court. However you want to go about this. This may be, I heard, like moving in with someone moving in with a romantic relationship this relationship may be moving forward in different ways but whatever it is it is harnessed into this physical it is something very tangible that we're dealing with right now so i also heard like your choices your actions they have consequences right so do this in accordance with your highest good do what you feel right do what you feel right for you okay my, my words are mumbled and jumbled up a little bit and I apologize. There may be a little bit of confusion as well with this that you're releasing and what you're releasing you're like okay well there I heard like there may be a few moments of kind of feeling lost and that's that in between stage where we've released the old but we haven't quite yet encountered whatever this new beginning is but what I'm hearing is spirits like saying is focus on you focus on doing what you love focus on pursuing the career and the aspirations and the goals that you want to do because this relationship will fall into place as it's meant to and it may even be that wherever you're destined to go wherever you're called to go whatever you're called to do if you're called to move whatever choices you're called to make they're going to bring this relationship to you so i'm going to ask for one more card clarifying the two of cups and spiritual union and you get positive movement forward and this is also very very rooted here this is the Eight of Pentacles, and I think this is because if you think about the Eight of Pentacles, we've done a lot of work. Here it looks like you've done a lot of work on yourself, letting go of what you no longer want in your life, and really building a life and a relationship that is stable to you. So this is moving past the hard times and sailing into the sunset, and that's really, really gorgeous energy. So let's get a little bit for the love or soul connection, please. So, soul connection of Aries, please. What guidance or information do you want us to know? They're focused on partnerships. So, this could definitely, I feel like, be you. As well as, to me, there's no ribbons around, but it's hand fasting in this partnership, as well as what I heard is an alliance. It is bringing together two what I heard is seemingly opposites as well. Even though on your side you feel like you're very strongly connected and a sharing of minds. You may have a lot of different interests though as well. But the partnership and alliance here is really, really strong. Really important. And that's where they're focusing on. And I feel like it's important um, because what I'm hearing is they will put you first. 
you are important to them. This is not a relationship, right, where you feel like you're being breadcrumbed or you're struggling to get acknowledgement or attention or affection or anything like that. Their focus is definitely on partnership first. Let me find out some more, please, Spirit. What else would you have us know about this partnership and alliance? And you get a few different things. There's solitude that comes with your partner or your love interest. We have the foundation and movements, which here is the four of pentacles. So maybe that is not... Just a second, guys. Now, this isn't our... That's our food chakra. That's in the physical. I'm just trying to find... That's the physical. So I feel like this may be the four of swords. Let me just check mental. No. Okay, so let's get it. Yes. Alright, so this is on your spiritual side. And I feel like they're focusing on home though. If you see all these people outside standing outside their home, looking at it, the rainbow in behind, things are in balance. And I think this is also, this person might be spending a lot of time in solitude and meditation. This is also the hermit in the regular tarot. To find out what is true to them, and remember I heard there's the power of the sword. There is the power of the sword, and it's new beginnings and new understandings and new clarity. And to be able to cut through bullshit, to be able to cut through the ice, to be able to cut through anything that's wrong with negativity or deception, and as well as if somebody, they may have felt like they were buried. If you see this, this hand is coming up through the ground. That is the power of the sword, that whatever has been dumped on you or whatever you're lying underneath, that that new information or new way of thinking is powerful enough to push out of that. I heard depression as well, but there's definitely a focus on partnership on this side. However, I don't feel like it's manifested yet into the physical. If it has, this person, if you're already with this person, like if you already lived together, you may have not noticed they may be a little bit um, distant or aloof. And this is just because they're they're figuring stuff out for themselves. It has nothing I heard to do with you, actually. They're just trying to figure out, you know, what are their foundations. And this also focuses on achievements, which is wonderful because both of these cards, there's an alliance here. But I think this achievement is something that's done together. It's not necessarily their achievements. So I think they may be reflecting a little bit on this relationship or on their past situations and what they have achieved on their own. Much like on your side, your focus is on your destiny and where you're destined to go, what you're destined to do. I think they're also looking at their foundations and figuring out who am I? What have I built? What is the life that I've built? Is there blocks that need to be replaced in this home? And as well as here, they're I'm really focused on the family, which to me as well is this partnerships and alliance. So if they are spending time in solitude, no, but it's for their highest good. It's what they need to do. And we under here have solar plexus. I feel like as well, they're really starting to understand the importance of recognizing their own self-worth. And I heard behavior as well that um, I heard for some of them, they may be under like having some gut health issues as well. But for this... I think it's important that they learn just how powerful they are, the power of their speech, the power of their actions, and that they need to love themselves first before anyone else can show that love as well. Much like what I was picking up on your side, that if we don't love ourselves, how is it that someone else is going to come in and magically treat us wonderful and we, you know, we need to know our worth before we can expect someone else to give that. Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about the solar plexus chakra for the love interest? And we get recognition and reward, and this is in the physical. Um, I definitely feel like this person or your interest or your soul connection, while focused on the partnership, they're recognizing everything they've been through. Some of it I heard may have been traumatic and how they've been able to build themselves up and know that they're standing here proudly and being proud of who they are. And that's actually pretty wonderful energy. And the bottom of the deck is stand your ground. I think as well that 
they're, what I heard is learning to stand on your own feet, learning to be who you are without, for, um, without, it's not forgiveness, without apologizing for who they are, knowing that they have worth and recognizing their own achievements as well. So what is the shared energy here between Aries and their soul connection? And the first card we have is harvest, material harvest. That there's a new beginning and whatever happens between you guys, this is physical. This is something that both of you are sharing this energy. You both have, um, on your end, you have movement and positive movement forward in the physical as well as recognition and reward in the physical. So having your material harvest, I feel like there's um, a sense of gratitude among you both for everything that you have, as well as knowing that you both, I feel like maybe self-made, you've both mastered something, as I heard was mastery. And this could be celebrating your mastery, celebrating whatever work you're doing to be able to bring home the dough, whatever, um, spiritual development that you've done that is really starting to change your world and how you interact with the world around you as well and we have the tower here with disruption and i feel like both of you are definitely going through some changes this tower moment doesn't have to be terrible because to be honest it coming out with material harvest that's really good it means that there's a disruption to the norm there's a disruption to the status quo and it's bringing new harvest so I mean, if we think about harvest season, life is pretty chaotic. I didn't. I grew up on a farm. It was a, a beef farm. So the harvest for my family was hay, and during hay season, life stopped. I mean, not necessarily for me because I didn't have to run the tractor or anything like that. But my dad spent a lot of time cutting and baling, and then especially if they're square bales, you need to put them in the barn make sure that they're stored properly and I mean he worked also so it was dinners were late we weren't engaging in a lot of social activities during that time mainly because my dad was just so busy and this has nothing to do with me but this is just knowing that when we're in harvest season we have so much to do I think about if you if you grow a garden and you have tomatoes right and you don't want to waste those tomatoes but you've planted too many your life revolves around tomatoes until it's done or until you said you know what i've seen enough tomatoes i can't possibly do anything else with these hey neighbor would you like some tomatoes so i feel like this is not a bad disruption of your life it's just allowing new things to come and it's really busy and I, what i heard is busy in preparation busy in this harvest so it may be that with this new harvest, with this positive movement forward, with this movement, you literally could be moving. The material harvest could be moving into a home even together is what I heard if you're already with this person. But there's a lot of changes and it's not a, it's not to be upset about. It's just knowing things are rearranging. So can you explain more please spare the space in between? Whatever changes, whatever stress there may be, well, it's definitely feeling like this is movement as well. If there's stress for that, that's normal. But get through it the best you can and know there is triumph here. As well as I'm really drawn to the partnership and the flags. Because I think that this is a triumph that you're going to be telling people about and it's something with this red they're really showing me it's this physical triumph that whatever has happened whatever success you both have had because there's success on both sides and there's success together that this will be celebrated and i really think it's important for you both to acknowledge just how wonderful you are just how far you've come on your own spiritual journey on your own physical journey and what you have manifested in this world is all because of your hard work so the bottom of the deck is the throat chakra, um, patience in the reverse, but it doesn't matter. that there, This relationship, I feel like, because of having to let go and having some time in solitude, there may have been a real 
it may have felt like it was long. It may have felt like there was delay. I feel like here's where we will need to talk. We need to open up our throat chakras as well. Discuss what's going on. Discuss what we want to see. Discuss our expectations as well as what I heard. Because if we're not really clear on that, then we may have one person really disappointed or feeling like they're doing more of the work than the other person and upset. And if we never actually voice what we need or what we're asking from someone else, how are they going to know as well as our true feelings, right? This is important as well as this is expressing gratitude for everything that you have in your world on both sides so i'm going to ask the romance angels to join us here wow right away on your side i get worth waiting for and past life relationship so really gorgeous energy here because if it has taken a really long time your divine timing is at work in your love life it is worth waiting for because if, if your person or you aren't in the right alignment to bring this relationship in, it may be doomed to fail. We don't want that. We want this to work. We want to be relaxed as well as what I heard. So whatever decisions, whatever movements you're making, they may feel small. They may feel like they're taking a really long time. As well as what I heard is there could be delays. There is positive movement forward, but there may be some delays, but just know what's on divine timing. Try and just take some deep breaths in and out and relax. And this past life, you have known each other before, and there's no doubt in my mind about this, that you've known each other before. This recognition and reward may even be that as your, as your partner is seeing you, I think they're seeing your true worth as well, and they're recognizing the divine in you, they're recognizing the divine in themselves, as well as just how important this relationship is. So, the past life relationship, can you tell me more about this? Is there anything? Thank you. And you get very soon... Figure out what you want, so clearly decide what you want, so it comes to you. And this means that we're not like, hmm, I'm not sure, I kind of like them, but I don't really know if I want to be with them, I'm not really sure if I'm ready for a relationship, because when we do that, sure it may come to us, but like I said earlier, if, if we're not clear on this, it's not going to come in the best way possible. So figuring out what you want, this could be, do you want to focus on your career first? Do you want to focus on that destiny? Are you focused on healing and releasing? Are you focused on a new beginning? Clearly decide what you want so spirit can help bring it in. Because if you're not clear, spirit's not going to bring it in in a clear way either. Spirit, can you tell me about the love interest or soul connection, please? And the energy. Thank you. And chemistry, for sure. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel like you guys may even feel each other. And having a past life connection with this spiritual union. It is a very, very strong connection and attraction. That you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And I also feel like on, this, on your partner's side, them attracting love in as well as the more they believe in themselves and the more they focus on their self-worth as well as for again i heard the gut or the belly health getting themselves healthy also it's going to help them have more confidence so that they're attracting you or vice versa right um to uphold them and i feel like this person once they realize the value of their light it's going to shine so brightly that you're going to feel their energy come in the room and everyone else is going to notice them and i feel like they're going to get a lot of notice they're going to get a lot of recognition um what i heard from on you for both of you guys is trying not to be jealous of that right so if someone else in the if someone in the partnership gets a lot of attention if they have a lot of people looking at them or wanting their attention it's important to know as well that your value doesn't go down because some other people want to converse or talk to this person or even have a slice of their energy okay but like i said before i feel like this partnership it's going to be focused on you so it doesn't matter if other people come into the mix and they want to share the light their focus is on you and building something with you because they're hella attracted to you and they know that there's chemistry here 
and this magnetic attraction as well, I feel like even if you've never met this person, the pull is going to get strong. The pull is going to have you guys both magnetized on even maybe different parts of the planet, different parts of the city, you know, wherever, different parts of the country, depending on where you live. But somehow, some way, you guys are going to come together because I feel like spirit wills this. This is destiny coming through. So they're asking me to show you the bottom of the deck, and that's reconciliation. A Someone from your past is returning to your life. This may also be like this past life relationship. It may be that you've been with this person before, but you both had to come go apart to be able to focus on yourselves, to be able to come back together. This could be um, a lot of things. I also heard like a collective you guys coming back into alignment with with who you truly are because when you do that it does bring those past life relationships back but also what i heard is with this kind of relationship and this kind of spiritual union you can call their energy you can speak to them if you need to um they may not necessarily hear you all the time but if you can put that energy out as well as if you guys are going to be open ask them hey i was sending some telepathic messages did you hear it and as well as what I heard for some of you is you may want to even write a letter or journal it. Um, journal it to get it out there. But be very open with your feelings and your thoughts throughout all of this because here's where we keep a grounded connection. What else would you have, Spirit, for the... They want this one. Separation. So separation and reconciliation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon like I said before, I feel like there could be some delays. So if you haven't met this person yet, know that they're coming. You guys will reunite. These souls will reunite. If reunite, if you have met this person, you guys may be taking a little bit of a break because these kinds of things are pretty powerful. And they're I want I heard draining, but only draining if it's not grounded and not stable. And as well as I feel like your person really needs to gain some self confidence and really see just how far they've come as well so that they're feeling worthy of this relationship but that separation could be from lots of things it could even be from the coronavirus you have unrequited love here there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going with separation reconciliation one of you may actually feel like the other one is not um as not as into this as you tell me more about this unrequited love please Thank you. So, okay, so one thing I was hearing while I was shuffling that was like, it's not necessarily that you don't have love for each other. It's again, that one side doesn't have enough love for themselves to be able to bring this connection forward quite yet. And what came out was love yourself first. Love your, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, which is definitely this solar plexus chakra I was picking up on. And there's children. Both of you could have children, one of you could have children, but your love life is being affected by children. So that's also what I'm hearing too, is if you guys have been in different relationships, there may be a stalling as well, because if children are involved, it's not necessarily, I feel like that the love is unrecorded, although it may be, if that resonates for you. I feel like you may feel like, or they may feel like this separation or this stalling is because it's not there's not love but I think that the first and foremost most important thing to do is focus on loving yourself so that you're going to call in people who love you as well and who also love themselves and I think that I heard the struggle is real it may be a real struggle on your partner's side to truly love themselves so let's get a little bit more. They want me to show you the bottom was also you deserve love and you absolutely do. And so does your partner. So does your love interest. I think that sometimes it's just like they need to really believe that. So I'm going to ask a message quickly from the past life oracle um, from this past life 
relationship for your side we get Celtic and communal living I heard for some of you you may still be without needing to release you may actually still be living with an ex or living with a partner and wanting to move on but it just hasn't happened yet which could be or they could be again depending on the situation but this communal living thing could be with other people you may have lived with them before they may have to do with who you're currently living with and Celtic as well coming up that I think that you may have also had a past life or you may have a really strong connection to Celtic Celtic ties and values or belief systems that may um, help educate you on this connection or maybe impeding you. But definitely this communal living. And we have writer or scribe that you definitely I feel like should write this person. Can you tell me about the love interest please? Thank you. And we get phobias. They may have heard have commitment phobias. They may have phobias regarding children, phobias regarding even um, heard religion as well. We have finances under here as well. So with the communal living, there may be a real worry about, hey, can I actually do this? Can I afford to move out of my own? If I break off this relationship, can I afford to pay my spouse? Can I afford child care payments? Can I afford child... Um, bird support payments but I think that they're really working on their foundations right now and money while partnerships are important money may also be one of the things that's stopping them from moving forward I apologize for my birds guys so can you tell me about the space in between the shared energy I feel like both of you are needing right now to connect with your high priestess self, to connect with the knowingness that you already know, and as well as both of you in past lives may have been a seer. And with the phobias over here, I'm getting strongly that the love interest person may be um, a little afraid to express that because they've been condemned or persecuted for it. We also have biblical times. We have karmic relationship and actually persecution and inquisition, which makes a lot of sense if we've been in, around in biblical times as well. Um, if, your, if your belief system was different from the status quo, you may actually have been persecuted. So the phobias on this side may have a lot to do with persecution, as well as what I heard is Celtic. So I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day um, because of the connotation with pagans and being run out of Ireland but if you do that's right if you're Irish that's part of your heritage and identity but I'm feeling like a connection with that Celtic on being persecuted as well for some of you you may have been persecuted for what you believe in so now it's like well no I'm not I'm not going to talk about it I don't want to and there's karmic relationships here as well so you both actually may have been in karmic relationships that it's not the time to get out of yet you need to stay together either for finances or a place to live and there's a real phobia about coming clean and true and who you are Atlantis is at the bottom. Strongly feel like you guys have had a past life in Atlantis together. And this would make sense a lot with the telepathic communication if there is any. And this really strong connection, really strong magnetic attraction. If it's not here, don't worry. It will come when it's time. So focus on you. Focus on your new beginnings, my friend. And focus on creating a new life for yourself. That's the message I have. I hope it resonated. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.